Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I've had a few questions about this shelter that I've been using as of late in some of my videos. And it's a really simplistic style shelter and it's nothing new. In fact, there's been images of these cot bed type shelters in all of the bushcraft and woodcraft books that were written back in the 20s and 30s. So it's not a new concept, it's just something that people don't often see because people don't often use it. But it's a very simple system and my buddy Scotty Kinder uses it quite often, one of my instructors out here at the Pathfinder School, and he's also shown me something that new that you can do with this cot bed type shelter to actually make it more of an all-in-one system to carry with you on something like a Roycroft frame if you choose to do that. Stay with me and I'll walk you through that. And you basically have to have legs in here long enough that it supports the total length of your body and overlaps on the tripods as well. So basically all we have here is a canvas sleeve of material that's about seven feet long and about three feet wide, somewhere in that neighborhood. That's about three foot right there. Now, what Scotty was telling me, what he likes to do and works really well for him is, you take this sleeve and basically start out by turning it inside out so your seams are on the outside and you bundle this thing up and kind of twist it a little bit like this and then fold it down on itself I should probably twist it a couple more times to get this right and then you pull that through you create in essence a bag at that point that you can put your shelter elements and things in, bush pot, fire starting kit, whatever you're not carrying a haversack in your pockets, and you can tie that bag up and put that on your Roycroft frame so you've got a single system. You can put your wool blanket in there as well. And then when you're ready to use it, you can just untwist everything and pull it apart and open it up and it becomes your bed. So this thing is pretty simple to use. What I like to do is put the seam not directly on the side, not directly on the bottom, but somewhere in the middle. So I'm not putting too much pressure on it. And then all you really have to do is take these long legs that you've got, and I made these probably longer than they needed to be, but they work well for the job. All right, once you've got your tripods in place, You've got your bed on the ground. Make sure that these things are in a stable position. A good tripod to support your total weight when you hang in the middle of it. Then you should be able to come in here with this and put it on here one side at a time, pretty easy. Just shuck it down the sleeve here a little bit. I don't like this. Set it in place. Get yourself about halfway between things there and bring it up. Then you're going to need to pick the other one up, get it through the sleeve, and this is kind of a trick for one guy. And you got to shuck it down and bring it up and put it over the other side. Just like that. And kind of get them evened up. Pull this side down, that side up a little at a time. Get them evened up and pull your fabric at the same time to get it where you want it. Like that. Straighten everything out. If you're not wide enough at this point, or you're not high enough off the ground to suit your fancy, I'm on a hump right here. You're not high enough off the ground to suit your fancy, spread your legs out a little bit. So you're going to take one of your tripods and spread the legs out. So pull this thing out of here like this. Shuck that dude back out of there. Get that tripod leg out where it belongs. Bring that thing up. Push this one through. And pull it back out. Like that. And then go back to that hole. Trying to get things where they belong again.
It's a little bit of a process to manipulate this. The way you need to get it, to get it where you want it. Once you get it there, you'll be all right. Get it leaning a little bit backwards. It'll try to pull up on you when you're doing this. But just kind of hold it with your foot while you're manipulating that tripod. Okay. Once you've got that thing set, it should just be a matter of laying in there and testing it, making sure it's not going to move on you too much. And you're ready to go to sleep. Now, try to line this up with the two trees right here. Because remember, your ridge line is going to hold your tarp over top of this. And you're going to want a good 8 foot by 10 foot tarp for a setup like this. A canvas one will work fine. Sil nylon will be all right. This thing here, I would recommend it being made out of canvas. But if you want to use a sil nylon tarp over this or oil cloth, something like that to reduce the weight of canvas, that'd be fine too. Now, once you've got your bed made, you can just throw your tarp over your ridge line. Tack it out like we've talked about in lots and lots of other videos with a toggle and a prussic knot and start pulling this thing out taut and you'll have a dandy fine shelter. Now when I set up a shelter like this, I like to have my head side a little bit higher than my foot side. So I'm sleeping slightly elevated. That helps me to sleep better, but it's easy to do something like that in a shelter like this. And I really like this type of setup because it gets you off the ground it's very comfortable it's a little more tedious and time consuming obviously to set up than a hammock but at the same time it doesn't have that taco effect that a hammock has if you don't like that it also doesn't have that sway back in it if you're not a good side sleeper where you can sleep sideways in a hammock you always sleep on your back this is more comfortable in that respect it's heavier it's bulkier it's more time consuming to set up but I would consider this a more permanent type shelter or a little bit longer term shelter. Where a hammock, you could just go out there and throw it up for the night. If you were on a short scout or something like that and you didn't have inclement weather, you could throw a hammock up with no tarp or anything if you wanted to. Or if you had like a Hennessy all-in-one system, throw it up, go to sleep, the next morning pack it up and you're gone. Something like this, you're not going to want to set this up for one night. This is going to be for multiple nights of staying, but it's very comfortable to work under, very comfortable to sit on, very comfortable to maneuver around in and things like that and you have a big tarp that you can get under as well at the same time and a good comfy bench which is much different than trying to sit in a hammock and do tasks around camp all right guys well i'm dave canterbury with self-reliance outfitters in the pathfinder school and i appreciate you joining me today for this quick video on how to set this raised bed or stretcher bed type shelter up again this is nothing new been around at least since the 20s and probably well before that but I've had a few questions on it. My buddy Scotty Kinder uses it a lot. We are developing a shelter system based on this type of setup that will be an all-in-one piece of material as well. So I wanted to get this video out and show it to you today. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your views. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.